in terms of writing uh, the screenplay for this film, uh, tell us about the decisions you had to make around authenticity, when to stay kind of slavishly true to the book and when to be able to go, no, we can capture the spirit of that scene or of this an angle of the book without having to, to be exactly word for word. Tell us about that process of the freedom to, to be true to the spirit rather than to the, to the letter of the book. Well, I think I was emboldened on that. I had the benefit of having uh, done the play first. And the, I'm pretty sure that the um, initial uh, audience who booked early and, and thankfully kind of made our first season sell out, that, that first wave of audience were definitely the readership. And we were, I guess at that stage, were probably nervous about what they would make of it. And they were so helpfully uh, forgetful of the detail of the book or just embracing of its new shape. And knowing that was a really useful lesson uh, for doing the screenplay because it told us that no one wants a nine hour film. Uh, adaptation has to embrace this new medium that it's taking on, it has to do that. And so in that there's a, a lot of freedom. The strange thing is though, when I look at the film now, after all of that development and a lot of experimenting and some really radical departures along the way, now the, book, now the film to me seems to be uh, very loyal to the spirit of the book, uh, more so than the play, in my opinion. Um, and that, that's, that's where we arrived at. But there's a great uh, freedom that happens, I think, in, in, in colliding uh, moments. And, and the great thing, of course, that Neil brings, br brought to that process is the, um, his tireless scrutiny. Uh, you know, one of the things I've learned from working with Neil is that he has an incredible stamina for his work. And I admire that greatly. I remember, uh, you know, was it maybe 18 months ago or something, and we were heading towards our last sort of uh, chapter of uh, development, and Neil had one day off from directing The Ring Cycle. You know, no, no little gig. <laughs> you know, the, the biggest opera you can... Four operas you can take on. And on his day off, he spent that on script development with me, and we worked until 1 a.m., you know, and that stamina for the job is also about, comes down to Neil's scrutiny as well, which, as you know, Neil's just sort of said, you sort of hold off any um, locking down what something is and continually continue to mine it and ask questions of it. Uh, David Hare recently described Neil uh, as a director that, that some directors are a salesman, I think he said, but Neil's a detective. <laughs> and Neil will never dress it up to make it look finished. He just keeps on challenging the work to tell us what it wants to be. So that was a huge part of this process.